Now, 40 years ago, not many people in Britain had heard of Aikido. Now the sport is very much a fixture in clubs across the country. This weekend, the man responsible for bringing the sport over here was in southwest London, and Cable 17 went to meet him. Yamada Sensei arrived in London 40 years ago to teach judo. However, he also brought with him an entirely new form of martial art. I asked him why it was important that Aikido was taught in Britain. Uh, first of all, uh, London Judo Society invited me as a judo teacher, but uh, I also to teach Aikido because practice and uh, Dr. Uchida. And uh, I thought this training is uh, to help develop person in the body and the mind. Uh, Mr. Yamada is in his 70s. Uh, he's been doing it a long time. He started as a boy judo player and became a champion at that very quickly. His size, being small, meant that everybody was bigger than him. So he had to use skill, good skill, in order to beat people in, in that sense. But what he's teaching us now is, it's not just about beating people. You need to learn it and you need to enjoy what we're doing. That's the important thing. Learn it, enjoy it, and then once you've learnt it, you will enjoy it and your skill will get better. And uh, then you can take it into your normal, everyday life. So John, you're one of the organisers of today's event. Tell me first of all, Aikido, what's it all about? Well, an Aikido really is, can be described as a middle distance fighting discipline. If you consider judo is you take hold of the gear and therefore you're in close contact. And in karate you're standing further apart and you're using your legs quite a lot to do the kicks and things like this. Aikido you work virtually at arm's length. So therefore you're always applying wrist locks, elbow locks and things like this. Um, so we call it the middle distance fighting discipline. So it's been 40 years since Aikido was brought over. How important in the history of martial arts do you think that is? In terms of this country, 40 years is longer than anybody else in the whole world, excluding Japan. Obviously, that's where its origins uh, of Aikido came from. So, yes, that's something that we can boast. And with that, um, we can boast that we have some of the highest grade instructors. If you are a teacher, not just an instructor, if you are a teacher, then you do learn from your students because you see them do things uh, wrong and you try to them. You then start analysing what you're doing wrong or didn't they get the message. So how can I change the message so they get it right? And that's really where you learn from your students. I don't think in any, any walk of life you stop learning. You, know, you never stop learning. And I think this is really what the wonderful thing about Aikido. And as I say, I've been doing it 40 years, and I still don't think I've learned it all. I really don't. You know, there's such a lot more I need to learn. And with his help, I'll learn. Tell us what we've seen over the last couple of days. Well, what we did yesterday, we ran a competition in order to um, achieve two finalists to put in today's, into today's event. Um, so that was, that, that was yesterday, and it was a big day yesterday. Today, what we've tried to do is reenact history in a sense that um, we've shown you how originally um, these judo players were playing judo and then this little man, Mr. Yamada, comes over and shows them something quite revolutionary. And if people want to get involved in the Cable 17 area, there are schools on there. That's right. So um, I run classes uh, in David Lloyd Centre in Rains Park. I run class at the Open Door Community Centre in Southfields. Um, I run a class at Merton Adult Education Centre in uh, Wimbledon. Um, and there are other classes in Sutton. Mitchum. So in, in actual fact, with our um, group of instructors, you could actually do Aikido every day of the week. I'm very fortunate because as, as this celebration is 40 years, um, he's been my teacher and friend for 40 years. And every time he, he comes, he teaches me something. It may not be on the tatami or in the dojo, but it's in everyday life. And uh, you know, I, I think I consider myself very fortunate, I'm a very lucky man, um, because he's, he's still my teacher and he's still my friend, probably is. <laughs>